think she was talking Ooh. about. <laughs> there we go. Let's be good audience members. Longer prayers are not necessarily better than shorter prayers. Matthew chapter 6, verse 7 tells us to not keep on babbling in our prayers. The importance of prayers are not the words, but the intentions of your heart. The humble old man understood how to get a hold of God in Jim. The pastor, a puzzled look on his face, hurried to the cottage where the church caretaker lived. I am concerned. Every day at 12 o'clock, a shabby old man goes into the church. He only stays a few minutes. It seems most mysterious. And you know, the altar furnishings are quite valuable. I wish you'd keep an eye open and question the fellow. The next day, and so for many days, the caretaker watched. And sure enough, at 12 o'clock, the shabby figure would arrive. One day, the caretaker accosted him. Look here, my friend. What are you up to going to the church every day? I, I go to pray. Now come. You don't stay long enough to pray. You're only there a few minutes, for I've watched you. You just go up to the altar every day and then come away. Yes, that's true. I cannot pray a long prayer. But every day at 12 o'clock, I just comes and says, Jesus, it's Jim. Then I'll wait a minute and then comes away. <laughs> it's a little prayer, but I know he hears me. Sometime later, poor old Jim was knocked down by a car and was taken to the city hospital, where he settled down quite happily while his broken leg mended. Some of the men in the ward were cross and miserable. Others did nothing but grumble from morning till night, and they did not seem to improve. Then slowly, but surely, things changed. They stopped grumbling and were cheerful and contented. One day, hearing a burst of laughter, the nurse asked, What has happened to you all? Where have all the grumbles gone? <laughs> oh, it's old Jim, one patient replied. He is always so happy, and he never complains, although we know he must be in a lot of pain. It makes us ashamed to make a murmur. The nurse crossed over to where Jim lay. His silvery hair gave him a saintly look. His quiet eyes were full of peace. Well, Jim, the men say you're responsible for the change in this ward. They say you're always happy. I can't help being happy. You see, it's my visitor. Every day, he makes me happy. Your visitor? The nurse was puzzled. She had noticed that Jim's chair was empty on visiting days, for he had no relatives. Your visitor? But when does he come? Every day. The light in his eyes growing brighter. Yes, every day at 12 o'clock, he comes and stands at the foot of my bed. I see him. And he smiles and says, Jim, it's Jesus. Mm -hmm.